Christianity often talks about the breath of God. This is because the universe is breathing. When you practice after continuously practice of the prayers for rescue of all beings. There will be the state of the sensation that you feel the great of love, great love breath appears. This state is when you, your body and heart be melted away by the experience of or the body sensation of the great love. You feel in a border of subject and object. The great love exists in the center of the universe and it breathes and when this state appears in the heart and body you realize that your breath, your breath, your breathing and breathing of the universe are synchronizing. Actually, it is oneness. You are not breathing. The universe is breathing and that is your breath. And that is what happens when you feel when you experience the body sensation of the great love Samadhi. To awaken to the great love, what can be the cause of this happening? It will not just happen it will not happen just sit and meditate and chant. This has to happen depend by the motivation of your practice. What are you facing to? What is the motivation of your practice? Motivation of your practice is supposed to be, supposed to have two aspects. One aspect is you realize the pain exists in your heart. This pain is connected to your trauma. This pain is always exists in your heart. And this pain is actually is a reflection of pain of all beings. But most people don't realize Most of the people don't even notice that pain of the heart exists. When if you don't feel, if you don't realize, if you don't face to the pain as a human being, 
you will become cold person. Or some case you feel too much pain and you try to react other people aggressively aggressively because of this pain in your subconsciousness. This pain in your heart has to be used in a positive way. How? The pain the, all your <clears throat> sad experience in the past you create wounds in your heart and that is what, is what the pain is but this pain can be the motivation to emphasize pain of other people. This can be the cause of the motivation to pray for rescue of other beings. This can be the motivation to practice that motivation that even you want to carry the pain of others and share the pain of, with others. And because of this heart that you want to carry others' pain of other people, your pain will be carried by the great love of the great spirit in the universe. Either you call it or Buddha or, or, or God. Your pain will be carried. And if you, with this heart and with this motivation, if you keep repeatedly pray and chant and practice for all beings, there will be this one moment comes that you don't realize your existence of your own. You just realize that there is a great love in the border of your subject and object. And your body and heart will be melted away by the great love. And when your body and heart will be melted away, warmly, tenderly, and with full of love, to be loved, and the great love also spring out from you, and will be transferenced to all being in the universe. And when this happens, you understand the pain you had in your heart. Or you have in your heart is a reflection of all other beings in the universe. And at the same time, pain in your heart, what you have experienced in all the past, all the suffering in the past, is a treasure that you be able to empath have empathy to pain of other people, you will understand more about the other people, and you can be more motivated to practice as a Bodhisattva. This is, trauma is not negative, it's a treasure. It's a flower, will be flower blossom to give all the beauty of the heart for other people in the world. 